Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What did a crush do that made you instantly lose interest in him forward slash her? She asked me if I wanted to go to a concert with her, then then she wanted me to pay for both tickets that I knew she got for free. Promptly laughed at her and told her she can fuck off with some other idiot. It's funny how fast the ugliness on the inside can overcome anything good on the outside. She did me a favor that day. My friend used to have a crush on this guy but one day when he was out with her along with a couple of friends, he stole tips off the bar counter and offered her food with it. She refused. That's so shady. Also dollar bills are really usatory and who would want to eat paper anyway? If you invite someone and tell them to pay not only their part but yours too, there's something wrong. Especially if they were free in the first place. It's literally a scam at that point, rather than just being rude. He asked me to help him hook up with my best friend. Oh sh that hurts. What kind of a guy you like? Your friend Alex. He is perfect. Ha ha yeah he is. He thinks we look great together. Is he single? Yeah but I don't see how this. I love him. Pay the bill. We were out drinking, he got drunk and started fighting a guy that he thought had been harassing me. The guy said he didn't harass me, I said he didn't harass me, my crush still tried to defend me. Never lost interest faster. Oof. He looks like he was looking for a fight to impress you. Edit, why is this my most liked comment? He was mostly a mean drunk. The fact that he chose to protect me and not attack me, seemed coincidental to me and there was no reasoning either. At least that was the impression I got and it made me very much afraid to start anything with him. It was very educational for me, because I had been crushing on him hard for a good two years, finally got what I thought I wanted and I was over him in a time span of five minimum. Edit, to add, he wasn't a bad person and it was the first time I saw him that drunk but I could foresee a future of domestic violence that evening. I'm still in contact and from what I've heard from his wife he's self-centric, another thing I couldn't see back then, but has never been aggressive towards her. I worked up the courage to ask this girl to go on a date. She said yes. On the date, she proceeded to spend the whole time gossiping about anyone and everyone she could talk bad about. I still remember the moment it clicked that she was just super shallow and mean. It's a bit different, but I had a moment when I was younger maybe 15 or so when I realized that my mum was like this. Anytime she could talk shit about someone, she would, and no one would be safe it would be especially bad at family dinners, almost like her only topic of conversation was talking bad about someone. This was when I realized that I'd probably be reducing contact with her, once I'd moved out. Was crushing on this girl for fucking months, and it turns out at her last apartment she stole $1,500 for coke and abruptly ended the lease giving her two roommates barely any time at all to find new housing, one of which had to move back in with their abusive mother. Dodged a bullet. He tossed an empty drink bottle onto a random lawn as we walked down the street. Oh man. That just pulled up a memory of a guy I was on a date with who keyed a random person's car for no reason as we were walking along. Awful. Edit, well, I didn't expect all the upvotties and replies. Yikes. So, this happened about 25 years ago. I was a teen and didn't have a cell phone. I also was in an unfamiliar city in retrospect it was incredibly stupid of me to be in the situation I was in. He apologized for it, why did he apologize to me? He was a stupid teen too I guess, so I didn't report him, but I also did not go on another date with him. I feel bad for whoever's car that was, but I really didn't know what to do about it until it was too late. It didn't even occur to me that he was trying to impress me. Maybe that's why he apologized. Because it didn't work. I think he honestly regretted it. What the fuck? What a dick. I went on a date with a guy and he stuck his gum under the table at a bar. WTF. We were in our early 20s and out of college, working at adult jobs and this motherfucker couldn't even grab a napkin. Who does that? I was driving with a girl that I liked, we went through the drive through and then sat and ate in the car. After she was done she threw all the packaging out the window. I dropped her off at home and never spoke with her again. Littering is one of the things that I just cannot forgive a person for. It's so unnecessarily and gross, it would be an instant friendship forward slash relationship ender. Here's a light-hearted one. I developed my first crush when I was in second or third grade. 
This was right around the time when Pokemon were first becoming really popular, so naturally I was obsessed with them. I had the cards, the Game Boy games, etc. One day I overheard the girl I had a crush on talking to her friends at recess about how weird Pokemon were, and thus in a flash a young love was extinguished. Fast forward about 22 years and my wife also doesn't like Pokemon, because life is strange. Life is strange is a good game too. Acting like a complete dickhead, and when I addressed it he said I know I'm an asshole, but I'm really sexy like. Okay, suddenly, you're really not sexy at all. LOL sounds like something I'd say to my GF ironically for a cheap laugh. If only he was being ironical ass, he was not. She was going to a party and I said you seem pretty unenthusiastic about going. She replied with don't use big words. Okay, you seem big sad, no want go. E colon which one of you wants to be next to make a reference to the office? Why say lot word when few word do trick? Unenthusiastic. 14 letters. She was right man, that's not a small word. Very long word, he should have rather used blase instead. Threw rocks at a cat because she thought it was funny. That's no way to show appreciation to a funny cat. This guy that I'd been talking to for a while on Tinder who I thought was cool forward slash cute but he never seemed down to meet up. One time he randomly messaged me to say he'd gone over to someone's place and they'd had sex three times. I think he was trying to make me jealous but it just made me feel a bit gross. I had similar. I had known this guy for a few weeks and finally had a date at his to cook me dinner. Texted him a couple days before to say hi, and asked him how his day was. He told me it was great because he had morning sex, then a good day at work, then a date and sex with a totally different person. On the one hand, thanks for making it easy for me to dump you, and on the other hand, maybe work on not being a 100% asshole. Edit, this was IRL and talking for a little over a month, so not a it's Tinder and just for sex situation. I've never understood this. If you're trying to make someone jealous, which let's face it you shouldn't be doing anyway, go with something simple like someone was flirting hard with me and I kind of enjoyed it. Basically saying hey I'm into you but met this chick forward slash guy and we banged would just make me think okay so they aren't that into me then and gross, you can have them then I'm fucking out. Those are the same guys who are so insecure with themselves, they'll make sure their friends know if they got lucky with some exaggerated details. Told me she has a crush on my brother. I'm sorry Luigi. It just wasn't meant to be. Your princess is in another castle. My brother and I look exactly the same, it's difficult even for our parents to tell us apart. One day this girl came up to me after seeing my BRO and said he's cute, I mentioned we look the same, she said I'm ugly. This is me as well. My brother and I look incredibly similar in the face, but I'm sicklier and more asymmetrical from having a lot of medical problems as a kid. The difference in attractiveness ends up being monumental based on the small details. We're extremely similar as people as well, and yet most girls find him good looking, while most girls find me weird looking. We were five, had planned to marry when we got older with a pancake cake and everything. I was invited to his birthday party and he and his friend was climbing a tree with him being higher up. Suddenly he pees down on his friend. We never got married. A pancake wedding cake. Brilliant. I wish I had read this before I got married. Legendary five-year-old move. He was mean to his mom. Demanded money from her so we could go out, in front of me, and then called his grandma to get some more money so we could go out. So uncomfortable. Edit. Let me add more details. We were both around 21-20 seconds. I met this person, drove from the Midwest to Dallas with him, and was essentially stuck there for two days before my train was scheduled to leave. This behavior was not acceptable at all, and I felt uncomfortable the entire time. I hope he wasn't more than 15. We were both like 21. Cringe. Doubt that behavior is acceptable at any age. It was a teenage crush. He had multiple girlfriends, who didn't know about each other. Disloyalty is not cool. Did the absolute right thing. There was this guy in our class who tried to convince other people when cheating is okay. What were his arguments lol? Must have been some serious mental gymnastics. Not my crush, but someone who had a crush on me or so I was told. She asked for my birthday, and I told her. 
She then calculated that I was younger than her by a week or so and straight up said to me I did have a crush on a guy but then I found out he was younger than me so now there's not crush. Dumb dude. Lol. What a dumb reason. My husband is 8 months younger than me, but born the same year. I love making cradle robbing jokes and telling him to respect his elders. He loves making old lady jokes it's stupid, but it's fun to us. My fiancé is a few months older than me, her sister is older than her husband, and their mom is older than their dad. There are many jokes made about the women in the family going after younger men, 